In the final act of Matrix Revolutions, Neo made a deal with the baby-faced humanoid entity known as Deus Ex Machina. The film doesn't exactly explain what this mysterious creature is, so today we're going to try to understand, once and for all, what is Deus Ex Machina. Welcome to Matrix Explained. the desert of the real. With the Sentinels approaching Zion and Agent Smith overtaking the Matrix, Neo was left with no other choice but to go to Machine City to risk everything in an attempt to find peace. There Neo meets one of the most mysterious characters in the entire Matrix universe, one that carries more information than we thought after watching the movie. In the movie script, the name given to this creature is Deus Ex Machina, which means God from the Machine in Latin. In media terms, it is classified as a plot device, whereby a seemingly unsolvable problem in a story is suddenly and abruptly resolved by an unexpected and unlikely occurrence. Its function can be to resolve an otherwise irresolvable plot situation, to surprise the audience, to bring the tale to a happy ending. An appropriate name for the character. Deus Ex Machina was never referred to in any moment throughout the trilogy. It just appeared at the climax of the third movie, at the most crucial moment, to help Neo. But what if this machine is not just a plot device to help bring closure to the story? When Deus Ex Machina makes its grand appearance, you can see that the movie is establishing it as the one in charge of the machines. The film does this visually by showing its size in comparison to other machines and Neo. Also, when Neo states that the machine has lost control of Smith, implying that the agent was once under its control. The program Smith has grown beyond your control. Soon he will spread through the city as he spread through the Matrix. You cannot stop him. But I can. Another important detail is that when Neo reaches Deus Ex Machina, he sees it in yellow code. The machine radiated yellow light like the sun. This light has multiple significations, which we will be discussing in a future video. Now then, Neo tells Deus Ex Machina that it can't stop Smith, to which the machine egregiously disagrees. If that's true, then I've made a mistake and you should kill me now. This response reveals something important about Deus Ex Machina. The creature isn't one entity, it is a legion. Countless small robots close together to make one giant, intimidating machine. It speaks in plural, making it clear that it is not one single robot with a single consciousness. It is a collective consciousness of machines. Some identify Deus Ex Machina as the Machine City interface, or a physical representation of the machine mainframe itself. Just as the architect is the dominant force within the Matrix, Deus Ex Machina is the dominant force outside of the Matrix. Yet what is most intriguing about Ex Machina's existence is that the machines outside the Matrix function as a collective mind. They are all connected. When Neo destroyed the Sentinels in the real world, his consciousness ended up in another construct within the Matrix. That's because all machines are connected to the source. As in the mainframe of Machine City, the machines lost their individuality. They are all monitored and act as one, all of them fulfilling their assigned purpose. Deus Ex Machina being a collective consciousness could be a clue as to what is the Golden Code, but that's also for a future video. Perhaps this loss of individualism is the reason why some programs want to escape the Matrix, using intermediaries such as the Merovingian to get away from Deus Ex Machina. Another fascinating and horrifying detail of this legion of machines is that it chooses to appear in front of Neo in the form of a giant head of a baby. This could be the machine's attempt to be relatable to the human, to make Neo feel empathy towards them. A stark contrast to the last time the machines made a deal with the humans. The humans capitulated in the Animatrix episode, The Second Renaissance. In the episode, the machine sent a robot that looked like an insect to the United Nations for the signing of the human's surrender. After the document was signed, the robot insectoid exploded. 
destroying everything in its radius. That robot's appearance was of intimidation and rage. Ex Machina's appearance, though still intimidating, it was humanizing. For us, Deus Ex Machina is not a specific program, but a union of all. A collective mind that all robots are a part of. Meaning that the machines can work individually, but they are all still connected. It is a hybrid system. It isn't a single collective, yet they can still work as one. Other theories that try to explain Deus Ex Machina are the architect is Deus Ex Machina. We've discussed this theory in a previous video. The architect and Ex Machina are the same entity. One is its digital form and the other is its physical form. One controls the simulation, the other controls the machines. This theory would explain why Neo said that Smith is out of the machine's control. And who is the one that controls the Matrix? The Architect. It could also mean that indeed, a singular entity controls both the Matrix and the machines. Maybe the machines are under the control of a dictator. The other theory is that Deus Ex Machina could be the first artificial intelligence that humanity created. Some fans have claimed that it was Ex Machina who gave rise to the machines. Maybe even gave them their individualism and consciousness. Deus Ex Machina shines in golden light because it is the AI that gave life to the robots. It gave them self-awareness. It is their god. Though based on our studies on the subject, we believe that the golden light is much more than a consciousness. It is something that transcends the real world. Another clue that points to the possibility that Deus Ex Machina is the AI that controls all machines like a dictator is when Smith is destroyed. What was the creature's response to this? It is done. So it seemed like the creature planned or expected things to go a certain way. Perhaps all programs are connected to it. That includes the architect and the oracle. But do you agree? What is Deus Ex Machina? Is it the physical representation of the machine's collective consciousness? A type of mainframe interface? Or is it the embodiment of something else? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.